Hello, hello everyone. I'm your tour guide, Star. Welcome to Out of This World Tours. Today's unique tour of the solar system includes breathtaking views of the four inner planets, commonly called the terrestrial planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. So hop on board my ship and come with me for a ride. As we start our trip, let me share some solar system background with you. Our solar system consists of eight planets that are divided into two parts. The inner planets that we are visiting today and the outer planets known as the gas giants. You can visit those on one of our other tours. There are a number of differences between the inner and outer planets aside from location. The inner planets are small, dense, and composed mostly of rock, while the outer planets are composed mostly of gas with no solid surfaces and only liquid cores. The inner planets also have few or no moons and no rings circling them, while the outer planets often have dozens of satellites and rings composed of particles of ice and rock. Wow, that travel time went fast! We're already arriving at the closest planet to the sun, and our first stop, Mercury. The name Mercury comes from Rome mythology, where Mercury is the god of commerce, travel, and thievery. The planet probably received this name because it moves so quickly across the sky. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and the smallest planet of our solar system. It is only 5% of Earth's size. This small planet looks very much like Earth's moon, and it is even a similar grayish color. It has no moons of its own, and, comprised mostly of iron and nickel, is one of the densest planets in the solar system. Mercury has a very thin atmosphere that keeps heat neither in nor out, so it is burning during the day, up to 430 degrees Celsius, and freezing at night, as low as minus 187 degrees Celsius. These temperature ranges are the most extreme in the solar system. Each day on Mercury lasts as long as 58 days and 15 hours on Earth, and a whole year on Mercury is only 88 Earth days. Although Mercury is often visible with binoculars or even the unaided eye, it isn't very interesting to look at because it has few geological features other than impact craters. Now on to our next stop, the second planet from the Sun. I'm talking about Venus. Venus is named after the goddess of love and beauty. It was probably named this because it is the brightest of the planets known to the ancient astronomers. As a matter of fact, Venus is often called the morning star because, with the exception of Earth's moon, it's the brightest object in the sky. Venus is known to many as Earth's twin because the two planets are very similar. Venus is 80% of Earth's size. Both have few craters, an indication that their surfaces are young, and their densities and chemical compositions are similar. There's also evidence that Venus once had water on it, but the water has boiled away with the extreme heat. In important ways, though, Venus is very different from Earth. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system, with temperatures over 400 degrees Celsius. Its atmosphere is a thick cloud of various gases, including carbon dioxide, which traps the heat and transforms the planet into a furnace that is hot enough to melt lead. Venus's surface is actually hotter than Mercury's, even though it is farther away from the Sun. The length of a day on Venus is 243 Earth days, and a Venus year is 224.7 Earth days. Yep, you heard that right. A day on Venus is longer than its year. Very strange. Venus is also different in that it rotates backwards. All the planets in the solar system rotate counterclockwise when you look at them from above, but Venus turns clockwise. Time to leave this strange planet and visit your home planet, the third rock from the sun, Earth. Since you all know Earth so well, our stop here will be short. Earth is the third inner planet and the one we know best. Earth is the only planet whose English name does not derive from Greek or Roman mythology. Earth is the largest and densest of the inner planets and is the only place in the solar system where life is known to exist. Earth's atmosphere protects the planet from the dangerous radiation and helps keep valuable sunlight in, allowing life to survive. Earth is the only terrestrial planet with a large satellite, the Moon. Now we're off to the last stop on our tour, Mars. Mars is a final inner planet named for the god of war. It is also known as the Red Planet due to the rust of iron-rich materials that form the planet's surface. Mars is smaller than Earth and Venus at only 10% of Earth's mass. Mars's thin atmosphere has led some astronomers to believe that water that once existed on the planet might have actually leaked into space. One Mars day is nearly identical to a day on Earth at 24 hours and 37 minutes, 
and its year is 687 Earth days. Mars is cold with an average temperature of minus 55 degrees Celsius. The planet has two small moons that are thought to be asteroids captured by Mars's gravity. One of Mars's best known features is its network of canals and canyons that led many to believe there was once water and therefore life on Mars. Mars has huge volcanoes, the largest of which is named Olympus Mons. Well, that's it for our tour. We now head back to your home planet, Earth. On our way back, let's review the planets we visited. Mercury, closest to the Sun, smallest planet in the solar system, most extreme temperature ranges of all the planets. Venus, second from the Sun, often referred to as Earth's sister or twin. A day on Venus is longer than a year. Rotates clockwise, unlike every other planet in the solar system. Earth, third planet from the Sun, only planet known to support life only terrestrial planet with a large satellite, the Moon. Mars, fourth planet from the Sun, used to have water on its surface, has two small moons. Well, here you are, back safely to your home planet. Hope you enjoyed the trip.